We're here with Ali at Red Chili, and Ali, a few years back, I reviewed the Voltage. I really liked it. It's a really good performance all around it. This year, you've got the Magnet. How does it differ? And tell us a bit more about it. So the main features that differ from the Voltage, it's a bit stiffer, so we've got a different midsole um, to give you that more precise and really small edges. I'd use this mainly a bit more on sport climbing as opposed to I'd use this on boulders. Um, it's still got the dual tension straps the same and a really nice sock construction liner, which is very similar, so you get the same comfort that you get in the Voltage for a high-end shoe. Um, still got an asymmetric fit. Like I said, the main differences are is the stiffness um, for the precision in the toe. Um, and you still get Vibram excess grip rubber on the base. I was going to say, because that excess grip from having used it, it's, it's the industry standard, isn't yeah. it now? Yeah, if you've not got the name grip like the Vibrams, things like that, then people do tend to overlook the shoes. So just having Vibram, uh, Vibram rubber on the bottom um, and makes it better. in and around the heel, is there a subtle difference there in terms of the construction that I can see? Technically, the last is very similar. So the, the heel fit, the cup on this, and the voltage are very similar because we found that the fit of the voltage for an aggressive shoe um, is great. This one is slightly downturned, uh, slightly less downturned, so we call it performance fit. Um, the heel cup is very similar, so you're not going to get any of those bag in the sag spots um, that you get. Um, yeah. Great. So if you've used the voltage for bouldering and fancy something a little bit more sporty, try the magnet. If you've no idea what the voltage is, still try the magnet. <laughs> Cheers, Ali. No worries.